All right, full tour of Georgian supermarket. Let's check it out. Oh, and so I guess it's actually half a story below us. We got like a viewing balcony here when we walk in. Looks good, let's go. And naturally, we start off at the fruit and veggie section. And so first things first, a lot of the signs in the fruit and veggie section are quite nice. They've got English on them, which is helpful, as well as the country of origin, which is kind of fun to look at. And the prices are pretty good. And I guess just beside the fruit and veggie section is the bakery here, even with some cacciapoti, which we know is like cheese pizza, but better. <laughs> Fresh made cacciapoti too, handmade here in the grocery store. And yeah, I tell you what, the prices for fruit and veg are surprisingly good because we've been buying our fruit and veg at little roadside shops, like an old lady with a bunch of baskets, which have been really affordable. But even in the supermarket, comparable. My assumption was it would be more expensive here, but we see some good value in the fruit and veg in the supermarket. Not bad at all. And wow, check it out. Even a handmade and homemade pizza station right here in the grocery store. Just nice, and some sandwiches too, not bad at all. Almost like a little deli and bakery in the front. Just nice. And wow, look at this. Now this is almost like a tandoori, sort of reminiscent to us, but this is a uniquely Georgian thing, I believe, where they make Georgian bread inside. It's sort of like a tandoori, but bigger and concrete, I guess. We've seen it at some bakeries in the streets and they make good bread in here. Oh, they love their bread. Look at how many selections. You're, you're right about that. Uh, tons of selections. Typically we show the cheapest loaf, but it seems like Georgian people are not eating cheap sliced bread. No. They're eating a full loaf of proper bread. Yes, exactly. And some good prices for bread, man. Wow, this is a nice sort of loaf of bread here. For 135 Lari? Yeah, put it in the basket, man. Don't be shy. Some good looking bread. Can you believe the American sandwich bread is so much more expensive than the fresh one? No one's buying an American sandwich when the yeah. fresh bread is uh, less than half the price. I know, it tastes better. <laughs> it tastes better. I tell you what, I am impressed by the Georgian supermarket. Tons of different stalls here and people selling things and lots of people working, selling entire chickens or bread or anything yeah. in between. And if you guys can hear the music in the background, it's almost like a vlog music. Yeah. There's no lyrics and it's just kind of a simple beat. I could imagine myself editing to this song. So it's sort of, uh, it's sort of nice. I want to buy everything. <laughs> Same. Now in terms of beef and pork, both sections look really beautiful and the prices are actually pretty good. And if you can believe it, right beside the beef and pork there's a huge sushi section with a bunch of prepared sushi rolls. Very similar to what we saw in Japan actually. <laughs> Maybe not as fresh or not as, you know, Japanese quality of sushi, but still it's uh, fresh made. Even some eel over here in the Georgian supermarket. That was unexpected. And of course, the sausage section is massive. One, two, three, four bays, even five bays, all sausage. I don't even know where to start. Maybe I'll try to find one of the cheaper ones. It looks like uh, four lari for 250 grams. And of course, that comes in many different options. So you have to know which one's which. And you can get some more expensive ones that are probably really delicious, to be honest. Uh, we've had a good experience so far with Georgian sausage. And typically the Georgian sausage, very salty, which I love. Now let's check for the cheapest uh, pack of eggs. We tend to show that in our supermarket tours for comparison. And so I guess it's these eggs here, five and a half lari for a 10 pack, which is pretty good price overall. Now, one thing I've noticed about Georgia, they seem to like their 100% juice. Mm -hmm. Stuff like this is really, really common. 100% portocal. And you can see this one actually has some sediments in the bottom. It's like it's separated, you know? Uh, they tend to drink real juice. Not not like uh, sweet, sugary drinks. Yeah, yeah. That's my... Right. With that being said, we have found the Coca-Cola and Pepsi. So let's check out that, which is right beside the chip section. And so Pepsi and Coke are the same price. I'm a bit disappointed. I was hoping to find a Coke can with the Georgian font on it or the oh, Georgian yeah. alphabet so I could give it to my dad for his collection but it's the same can we have in Canada. With the Georgian one? Oh there is that one which is a green can and has some Georgian beneath it. Maybe we'll pick one of those up for my dad. My dad's got a pretty epic Coke collection and we recently got him a Chinese can that has Chinese characters on it. Sort of nice. Now in terms of the beer section they do have some smaller bottles 
for about four lorry or the bigger ones for four and a half. So good value on the bigger one. Although I'm sure there's going to be a bigger beer section that's not in the fridge because the Georgian beer I've been drinking is called Argo. So maybe we'll hold off and we'll look for the bigger beer section, maybe on shelves. And so the chip section is really small. It's like one half of one aisle and there are no unique or interesting Lay's flavors to report. So it seems like Georgian people don't eat too many potato chips or even processed food in general. Although it seems like they like drinking alcohol because this entire row is beer and the one behind and the one behind is all alcohol. So let's look for maybe some local Georgian beer and what it costs. Here is Argo. Quite good beer, in my opinion. It's three lari on sale right now for 500 mils. It's a pretty good price overall for beer. Also Herzog, I think this one might actually be German, but I've had this before in a restaurant. Also good beer. And they have seemingly every selection under the sun. And of course the huge, uh, what is that? Two and a half liter bottles for 14 lari. <laughs> so it seems like Georgian people like drinking alcohol. It's readily available in the grocery store. <laughs> oh, 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 I stand corrected. The chip section has multiplied and it's huge. So they do have their own local brand, I guess. I've never seen this before. It's called Caucasus Chips Fricks. Uh, four lari for 145 grams, fair. And they do have a huge Lay's section. Let's look for some unique Lay's flavors. Nothing really that, uh, that different. We've seen this before. This is like, uh, it looks like pepper. Pe pepper and peppercorn? yeah, peppercorns. And of course the paprika flavor we've seen before which is quite yummy, but nothing too unique. Maybe this one is uh, like a meat sort of flavor, but I do stand corrected. I thought the chip section was quite small. They've got a full row of chips over here. I think maybe every country in the world likes eating chips. <laughs> and so we've heard that Georgia is the country that's been making wine longer than any other country. Oh, yes. And so I would guess they like their wine and maybe this is the evidence. I've never seen <laughs> this much wine in a plastic jug. This is like the size of a jug you'd buy of water if you're going camping, and they got it full of wine. <laughs> wow. Almost look like oil. You look like oil. Okay, just looking, thank you. Okay. Thank you. And so just like that, we are into the tea and coffee section, which I guess is 50-50. This, this side of the aisle is tea, and that side is coffee. So it's a 50-50 split. And I really don't know why, but it seems like Georgian people love their instant coffee. From the end of the aisle to like, more than half like two-thirds of the coffee section is instant coffee which for me is like substantially worse than regular coffee but they s seem to love it it's everywhere now in terms of carbs it seems like georgia is a bread country although they definitely have rice available and huge bags of pasta i mean the affordability is incredible i almost can't believe my eyes this seems to be a five kilo bag of fusilli and for five kilos, it costs you ten and a half lari. Doesn't even make sense the affordability. It's like that was pretty good it's blowing my mind. Um, in Canada, you spend a lot more than that just on one box of spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Like this is unbelievable. <laughs> and sort of a similar story with rice. This is a five kilo bag of long grain rice. Oh, nice and heavy, and it costs you fourteen lari. I tell you what. Georgia is an interesting country because if you look at the human development index, it's very high. It's uh, like very developed in terms of education and healthcare. And yet the accommodation we're staying in, so affordable and food is quite affordable. So it's got good value in Georgia. Now this stuff here, Yvonne and I have been buying, it's called art food, I guess. It's eight lari and it's so good. I would call it like Ivar. Kind of like Ivar. Something like Ivar, it's eggplant and peppers and tomatoes and carrots and it's just like a delicious veggie paste that feels very healthy and real yeah. not processed no the ingredients in georgia seem good overall i think so yeah good quality and fresh and not just covered in salt and and it's just like right, a good right, right, right. good quality food yes it's not over processed right and so next up we can do the oil section where it's mostly in fact almost entirely sunflower oil of varying prices and some of it's quite affordable i mean 4.29 lari for one liter. It's good price for pretty good oil. And I feel like sunflower oil is better quality than canola. I guess so. We tend to use canola in Canada, but I feel like it's better for sunflower. And one thing you'll notice about Georgia, which I kind of love, they use a lot of glass bottles. 
So even the ketchup, I mean, five lari for a nice glass bottle of ketchup, it just feels better than even more expensive for the plastic bottle, a hey, lari. Uh, sort of nice to have a glass bottle in your hand. And let's check the mustard section. Not bad. We've got some Hellman's which is a prepared sort of mustard aid lorry and even some good ones up here spreadable glass jar mustard and even some mustard that looks like baby food no with the top on it you can slurp it <laughs> oh and i guess ketchup was in a glass bottle but mayonnaise is in a bag or in a packet at the very least okay not bad and pretty good price three and a half lorry and i guess georgia is a carton of milk country not a bag or not a bottle and it looks like it's about four lari for a liter which again is a fair price oh and check it out this is the cheese section or at least part of it so far in our experience georgia has some really really good cheese for me the best ones are the saltier the better and the prices here are pretty good usually how do you tell how salty it is no just by looking at it <laughs> hard to say but it is looking like it's fresh made there's people chopping it and kind of preparing it so in true georgian fashion it seems like it's farm fresh or not processed at the least this one incredible price i mean try it but it might be no flavor but try it i mean yeah. is it cheese i think so oh yeah it's cheese Okay, well, you press it, now we have to and Now we gotta buy it, just squeeze it. But it's so affordable, it's almost like it's yeah. something else. Let's try it. Oh, this one looks good, right? You can see that sort of flavor right in it. Oh, that one's got some bite to it, I bet, yeah. Now, this is something that is, at least for me, uniquely Georgian. This is walnut paste yes. with some sort of fruit, right? veggies oh like veggies beets or spinach to make it colored yeah uh stay tuned for a video where we try one from a restaurant something something unique there's actually more than a few unique georgian food with walnuts we can try some stay tuned for that all right final review of georgian supermarket first of all they played a dirty trick on us and we fell for it when you walk in the front door, you go right through the bakery section with the ketchupoti <laughs> smells in the air and people making garlic bread and it makes you hungry and it makes you buy more things. So we bought a lot, especially cheese and bread because uh, really good prices on cheese and bread. Oh, the price is so good. Too much information, but I'm not gonna go to the bathroom for 10 days over here. Cheese and bread all day in Georgia. <laughs> all right, thanks for watching everybody, later.